Hey there, it's Brooks here from DocumentSnap.com, and today we're going to be talking about a new feature of this Fujitsu ScanSnap iX500 for the Mac called Background Searchable PDF Creation. So the reason that this is Mac only is because Windows users for years have been able to do background OCR, which means you scan a document and then you don't have to wait for it to be made searchable. You can just keep on doing what you're doing and the PDF will be made searchable in the background. Windows users have been able to do this for quite some time using the ScanSnap Organizer product, but Mac users have never had a built-in way to do that until the iX500 has been released and it now has a new feature. I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to go to my dock, go to the ScanSnap Manager icon, right-click on it or command-click and hit Settings. And for my profile here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a new application here on the Application tab called Searchable PDF Converter. And this is new with the ScanSnap iX500. I'm not sure if it's going to make its way to the other ScanSnaps as well. Um, but for right now, anyway, it's the iX500 only. So like any other ScanSnap Manager profile, you can set a bunch of settings. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Application Settings button here because there's some things that we're going to want to configure. The first is we have a choice of how we want it to process. So we can click the drop down box here. If we choose text information, it's just going to OCR the document. But we also have the ability to have it look for highlighted text and pull keywords out of that. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to do text information. Then like the normal OCR settings in the ScanSnap, we can choose the language. We can say whether we want it to do all of the pages. We can look at the target files, uh, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And then we have a choice whether we want to execute it immediately or execute it when the computer is idle. I'm going to choose immediately, but you can have it so that it doesn't take up too many resources. It just does its thing when you're not worrying about it. And finally, we have the ability to set where we want these scans to go. So I have them going to my inbox. But interestingly enough, they also give you a place to store the documents that before their OCR state. So you can have a backup of them before the searchable PDF converter has been run. Now, unfortunately, this is not optional. Uh, so you'll probably want to have some method once you make you're comfortable with this working you're probably going to have want some method of clearing that out, whether it's Hazel or something out. But for now, it's nice to have a backup anyway. So I'm going to close these application settings. And I'm going to hit Apply. And I've thrown some paper into the iX500, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit Scan here. I've got three pages. And you can see right away, it's popped up this window and it's doing its background OCR in, in the background. And so I could go on and scan some more if I wanted to, or I could go on and do some other work. But while I was talking, it quickly OCR'd all of those documents. If there's any problem, this window will stay up. If there's any problems, it'll show you it there and you can see how it works. So that's interesting, that's how it works when you're doing background OCR right after a scan, but you can actually scan your documents to a folder or folders and then do this later, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so I'm here in my Applications folder, and you can see, you may have noticed before, that there's a folder in your Applications folder called the ScanSnap folder, so I'm going to double-click on that. And then down here at the bottom, there's a new application called Searchable PDF Converter. And when I start that up, you'll see we get the same window as before, but we also have this menu icon up here. And when I click there, we can set a bunch of settings here. We can see how idle the computer has to be in order for the background OCR to kick off, but we can go to settings, which will give us that same settings screen as before. And this time what I want to do is I want to take some files that I had previously scanned with my ScanSnap and use the searchable PDF converter window. And just to show that it works, I'm going to check this box here, which says include subfolders. 
And so what that means is I can have a folder hierarchy that I have previously scanned with a scan snap, and I can just drag it into window. So I'm going to check target subfolders. I'm going to exit out of this. And I brought a finder window over here. And let's say this to scan folder here. I'm just going to drag it right into the searchable PDF window. And it always gives you this warning, just saying that some things might be lost if you're converting a regular PDF to a searchable PDF, if you've got PDF comments and stuff like that in there. I'm just going to hit OK. And all those folder, all those files that I have had in that folder, it's OCRing them. And it's working OK, it's working away, and it's done. And because we're not doing this from ScanSnap Manager, we're dragging the files in. If we go into, to, into our ToScan folder and bring one of these things up, you can see that it's now searchable. So it's done it's done the files that we dragged in there. So that's how the searchable PDF converter for the ScanSnap iX500 on the Mac works. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.